Here we are at the beautiful Queen Victoria Market in Melbourne, Australia. And this is the largest fresh fruit, vegetable and meat market in the whole of Melbourne. And it's right on the fringe of the city centre. So if you live in the city centre, you can walk here or get the free tram here because it's in the free tram zone. First up, let's look at some vegetables and fruit and then I'll take you through the meat section afterwards. And here is the zoomed in map. So you can see from the blue dot exactly where I'm standing right now at the start of the video. And you can even see that little blue shading. That's the way I'm facing. So I'm facing in towards the market. So let's go explore the cost of living in Melbourne. All right, let's go for a wander. Now this place, the Queen Victoria Market, this is gonna be your best and cheapest option for fruit, vegetables and meat. And by quite a long way too, because the Australian supermarkets are really expensive. Prices at Coles and Woolworths, which are the two big supermarket chains here in Australia, are at least double what I'll show you today. And look, honestly, up to even triple the prices that we're gonna look at today. Another affordable option if you're staying here in the city center is the budget German supermarket chain, which is called Aldi. And there's one just on Franklin Street, which is about a block away from the market here. One more good thing here as well is that there's a lot of deli items. Just as we walk into the first aisle here, as I was saying, there's a lot of deli items here. Um, they are a little bit more expensive, but they're really good quality cheeses and wines and so forth. All right, what do we got here? We've got some oranges, got lots of apples, eggplants and so forth. Just let me get past where the people are here. Lots of nuts and stuff here. So you're looking at around $20 per kilo for these nuts. So $20 Australian per kilo, which remembering a kilo is around 2.2 pounds. So these are in kilos. And for all those um, nuts, they're around $20 a kilo for cashews. There we see carrots for $1, tomatoes for $1, cucumbers for one dollar now let me tell you these are cheap these are on the cheaper end two dollars there for tomatoes uh, three dollars there for tomatoes at two dollars for asparagus now these are really on the cheap end i have to tell you in terms of what you can find here uh, this is the cheapest part one of the cheaper parts here four dollars for capsicums there potatoes around a dollar a kilo there for potatoes all different kinds of potatoes there so lots of different options. Chilies are usually around kind of 10 bucks for a kilo. Depends how hot they are, of course. And over here again, we've got some uh, capsicums for around four or six dollars, depending on um, the color there. Cucumbers, tomatoes, around two dollars. That's about what you'd expect when they're in season for tomatoes and cucumbers, around two dollars each. There's a kind of nicer looking place. You see all the spring onions and cabbages and that kind of stuff there as well and lots of you can see two dollars fifty for all of these different kinds of um, herbs and stuff basil and so forth there's some apples two dollars a kilo granny smith apples there's some uh, some oranges there fresh picked in australia two dollars a kilo there as well and more apples here lots and lots of apples granny smith red gala pink lady all around two dollars two dollars fifty per kilo help yourself some mangoes here three for five Watermelon, about $1.50 per kilo. One of those big watermelons there, probably about five, six kilos. Uh, let's wander up a little bit. We've got a juice place here on the right-hand side. You can see this is pretty quiet. This is early on a weekday. Not much is happening here. There's some, uh, what have we got here? Some garlic and some, there you go, mushrooms for $5 a kilo. That was our baby spinach back there. It was $2.50, a dollar for a mango. Two dollars a kilo for some bananas. We've got lots of bananas in Australia in northern areas, which are tropical. There's two dollars fifty for half a kilo of strawberries. That's two dollars fifty for about a pound of strawberries. Again, Australian dollars. Um, let's wander off. So that's a major part there. This is another big part here. In total, there's about oh, around thirty fruit and veg sellers. There's about maybe five or six organic ones. Um, and about 40 meat sellers throughout the market. So a bit of a wander here. I'll go to this one quite a little bit here. And we'll turn right up here. And see lots of cherries in season. You see the difference there, 20 and $5. That, that's the quality difference, right? So there's often a lot of variation in the prices here. You will see 
prices jump around a lot in the market based on um, how close they are to expiring. There's some uh, papaya for two dollars each. Um, you will find that the prices do vary again because it didn't deteriorate. And also a little trick, just you see some greens there, some Asian greens, some bok choy and uh, various other things there. Eggplant at the top there, some ginger, $40 a kilo for ginger. So it's out of season at the moment at $40. When it gets into season, maybe $20 per kilo for ginger. So something that's very expensive. There's some broccoli for two fifty per kilo. Get some broccoli, get the bread there. There's a random dude just here. Just as you see, just up there, there goes a fat guy with the <laughs> with the stripes. <laughs> he's quite famous, this guy. Uh, we missed him. Uh, he's got a, a little stall there, you'll notice there. A whole lot of jams and just random stuff. All right. This is one I go to a lot. This one here is really cheap. This is getting towards the back end, towards uh, Peel Street. And you're looking at, you know, $2 a kilo for most greens here. Bok choy, I think, 80 cents for three bok choys. Uh, $2 for celery. About three dollars for blueberry punnets. And more of the same here. Just a couple more things here I'll show you. You got lots of nuts and stuff here as well. You can get in there. About twenty dollars a kilo. That does you for most nuts. Right, they're charging much more than that. You got about twenty-eight there for some cashews and twenty-eight for some other cashews there. That's about right. Twenty to thirty is about right, depending where you are. But see some nice variations here. Some hazelnuts, pistachios. Lots of other things going on as well. Let's walk down to the end here. We've got a few more. There's, as I said, it's quite spread out here. Um, it's a funny place, Victoria Market. There's a lot of room here. They actually can't develop the site because there's a graveyard underneath. I'm not kidding. There's lots of dead bodies underneath, so um, we can't develop the site. So you've got this really big, valuable site full of this market stuff right in the middle of the city, city centre here. Now I've come around to the front side, which is on Elizabeth Street, and this is the meat entrance here. So there's Elizabeth Street towards the city centre there, and we look up towards Carlton and University of Melbourne and the hospital that way. And here's our welcome to Queen Victoria Market. So let's wander in, and we're going to look at some of the meat prices. We've got fish, meat, chicken, um, all this kind of good stuff in here at the moment. So there is a lot of price and quality variation. So do have a look around in here so as we enter in here we've got seafood on that side there's all the seafood there's some chicken and a couple of chicken places here as well and then we get into some red meat uh, further up so let's just get an idea so per kilo chicken breast is around 10 or 12 dollars for chicken breast seen as the best cut you got lots of variations here you can get the entire chicken for about 10 dollars there you go two kilos for 18 for chicken breasts lots of chicken sausages there for about eight dollars or ten dollars per kilo for chicken sausages chicken wings about three or four dollars per kilo typical now we have some red meat red meat depends the cut you get you can get some pork that's really really cheap you can get pork for like five six dollars a kilo for roasting pork all the way up to pork belly which is around fifteen dollars per kilo for pork belly here the pork fillets, the best quality pork fillets, around $12, $13 per kilo as well. And you got your pork chops around $8 per kilo. But have a look around. There's a lot of different options there. Do take your time. In terms of red meat, look, the cheapest steak, say rump steak, might be around $12, $13 a kilo. All the way up to kind of Wagyu grade 5 is around $40 per kilo. I fill it around $25 per kilo. Porterhouse around sort of $17 per kilo. But again, depends exactly where you go. There will be a lot of different offerings. Here we have a random poultry place. Uh, this place is uh, a real value add place. So they have a lot of you know, made up flavors of different things and stuff that they make there themselves. Now as we come down here, we've got a few more red meats and then we hit the seafood area. Now again, the, the prices will vary quite a bit depending what you want. There's a lot of gourmet sausages and there's a lot of variation. So it's good to have a bit of a look around and um, see what you kind of like the feel of. Again, if you're on a budget, you can go as low as maybe $6 a kilo for lean roasting pork. And down the other end, you can go all the way to $40 or $50 for the best quality steak that you can find. Um, back there, there was some Wagyu beef, I think for $30 for a grade 3. Uh, Wagyu beef, um, $40 for grade 5, so quite cheap. Alright, here we got some uh, 
tuna and salmon fillets. Sorry, about thirty-two dollars they were. So the salmon fillets are about thirty-two per kilo, whereas the cutlets are usually about twenty-eight. A little bit of a difference there. Let's have a look at some prawns. We call these prawns, not shrimp. Still about thirty bucks for some peeled prawns or peeled shrimp. Some lobsters, some mussels. Let's see what you want to see there. There's some oysters there. Is that twenty-two dollars for a dozen oysters? Fresh and ready to eat right there and then. All right, we've got a few fish, about six or seven fish shops here. So you can just help yourself to the prices, check out what's happening there. I have to warn you, if you're a delicate little soul, the the smell here is incredibly strong. So if you're, if you're more of an eater than, a, than a, a fisher, you might want to steer clear or send someone else for you. But you can get a good sense here. Your entry level for the cheapest fish is around $15, going up to around $35 or $40. Calamari as well. You didn't see the calamari there for about 15 per kilo as well. 